Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil and filter on a 1984 Yamaha Trimodal, the YTM225. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, take an 18 millimeter socket underneath the foot shift. Here's the cap. Unscrew the cap. Sometimes these are really stuck on there, you have to really, really work at it. It'll come off. And that's what it should look like. There should be a rubber o-ring in here. If it has any type of damage, you're going to want to change it. There should be a spring. And a small screen. And when you put it back in, should go something like that once your oil is drained put your screen and the spring back in cap over it get it started by hand take your 19 millimeter socket and snug it up, but don't over tighten it. All right, next step, take this cover off. This is for your oil filter. It's gonna be a number five Allen wrench metric. Make sure you have an oil pan underneath to catch oil that comes out. This is a tight spot right here because of the brake cable. rubber o-ring on your cap make sure that's still in good shape if not replace it new filter get some oil on there Just stick that in first and place your cap over it line up the holes Short screw to the right. Long screw goes in the back to the left. The medium sized screw will go in the bottom. Tighten them up, <coughs> lightly snug them. Don't over tighten them or you'll strip the aluminum casing. And we're done with that part. Next, we'll pull the dipstick out. Oil I'm using is ATV four stroke 1040 motor oil. Probably makes it, many different companies make it. Just gotta make sure it's for wet clutch protection. 
This machine takes 1.6 quarts. That should do it. Install your dipstick. Now the next step is right here is a 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to take that out, and then we're going to start the engine, and we're going to see if it pumps oil up to the head. It should start seeping out of here. And if not, then you have issues with your oil pump. <clears throat> We're going to want to take a rag and put it up underneath so the oil doesn't make a mess. see pumping oil reinstall your 10 millimeter bolt lightly snug it up with your 10 millimeter socket and clean the mess up okay guys we're all set I hope this video helped if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future videos thanks again for watching